What's up YouTube? This is gonna be a video on Train Simulator again. And this is gonna be a bit of a speed test uh, on, the, on the line that we were examining before, the one that in the first episode of Microsoft Train Simulator the Hitatsu line and we're gonna use the Dash 9 because it's a faster train. Um, we're gonna we're gonna start at Yoshimatsu station and everything all that this test is gonna do is test how fast we can go. So I'll just let the train run and uh, well comment while on the way there. First off we have to decouple all of the of the cars that are behind the first locomotive and start running. Now there's a reason that I start at Yoshimatsu station. It's well the end of the the southern end of the line and um, of course, I accelerated the footage so that we can actually get there faster. And even though Yoshimatsu Station goes uphill from this point, we have two stations. They go uphill and then a long incline downhill. That is where the speed test is actually going to happen. Now, you're going to see a little bit of a quirk with this rail track that we have to stop and switch track uh, at the first station. And yes, I'm having to use the full brakes so that the train will actually stop where, where we need it to stop. And you have to go in reverse and switch tracks. Right now we're switching. We're, we're going to switch the, from one track to the other. Here's our first switch. And there we have our second switch. We have to make three track switches. Here's the third. And finally we can we can start accelerating. You know the drill. We're still going uphill. You can tell because we can't go over 75, 76. We can't go over 80 miles per hour. And yes, I, I cannot. Uh, I have to do it in miles per hour because this train has a speed up to on miles per hour. As much as I hate it, you know, since most people outside of the U.S. would use uh, kilometers per hour. But anyway, here's where the incline goes down. And you see we're starting to accelerate severely. Don't worry about the passengers here because I don't have any passengers. Lucky for, for them because as you can see after we reach exactly 140 miles per hour, the track ends shortly here, shortly thereafter, so even though we are using our full brakes, you can see that we are unable to stop before we yeah, crash. And that is exactly the reason why speed limits 
are in place in most places there. Well, in all places that aren't a German autobahn. Because at higher speeds, you need a larger distance to stop the train or the car or whatever vehicle you're using. And anyway, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.